Hey guys, I am back, and today I am back with another Walking Dead video. This one is going to be talking about will Rick lose his hand? What was that strange object thing in the background? You know, during that CGI, um, that CGI scene where Rick was overlooking uh, the junkyard. And we're also going to get into episode 11 spoilers. All right, so. Way to start first. I guess one of the big ones, you know, will Rick lose his hand? We did see in episode 10 when Rick was fighting Winslow, he kind of face-palmed uh, that walker, basically got a spike going right through his hand, and now people are saying, you know, will Rick lose his hand? Uh, is Rick going to lose his hand? You know, Rick will lose his hand. Me, personally... I don't think so. I don't think Rick will lose his hand. Um, I mean, I know Robert Kirkman said he regrets doing it. I think having the governor do it or doing it all together. I can't remember which one it was, but I remember, I know Robert Kirkman said he regrets cutting it off so soon or cutting it off at all. I don't remember. But me personally, I kind of think... Um, it's not going to happen. Um, I know it gave, or it gives his character more, you know, more to it, you know, with Rick losing his hand and all, but I kind of think if it was going to happen, I think the governor should have done it, because, I mean, that was kind of, you know, his, his thing, his, his, ah, what do you, whatever you, whatever you want to call it, um, you know, it was his thing. I mean, it'd kind of be like somebody else killing Glenn with a baseball bat and not Negan. You know what I mean? So I kind of think, I mean, I know this show is a way for Robert Kirkman to basically fix and correct any mistakes he kind of made. You know, because back, you know, when he's writing the comic and stuff like that at the time, you know, oh, this seems like a pretty cool idea. You know, I'll cut off Rick's hand. You know, that sounds pretty badass. You know, having a, a villain like the governor chop off his hand, you know, seems like a pretty badass. And then looking back, it's like, well, at the time, thinking back, you know, looking back now, probably wasn't a great idea. So, I don't know. I know, you know, uh, Andrew Lincoln was petitioning to have the governor, you know, cut off his hand. He was down for it. But I guess, uh, you know, the cost of... Uh, green screen and all that stuff was a little bit too much um, you know but now I don't know I don't think it's going to happen I mean me personally if it was going to happen I still think the governor should have done it um, I mean I know there's been a lot of like little little hints you know now with the uh, the spike going through uh, the palm of his hand in the last episode and then back in season six, I don't remember which episode. Um, I think it was when Rick was running back to Alexandria, episode three or f four. I don't remember where uh, Rick basically uh, cut his hand with a machete, and uh, you know that was like another little, a little hint, or I guess, or a little nod to it so I mean they've been dropping hints you know about Rick losing his hand and stuff like that but I don't know I mean there has always been that was drop little hints for everything I mean there was um what was it back in season five where they were bringing Noah uh back to his place and you know they found out it was all destroyed and you know Glenn picks up the baseball bat and everything you know that was the little possible hint of what to come for his future um and then you know we did get the uh you know the same thing with terminus you know when he was about to get hit over the head with a bat but you know carol interrupted that and stopped that um you know so i mean they do drop little hints sometimes they come true sometimes they don't but yeah i don't think rick's gonna lose his hand i mean i don't know i just think governor should have done it but, never know. I mean, I could be wrong. I mean, they could eventually go for it. I mean, I don't know who would 
you know, who would do it, if Negan would do it, or maybe uh, someone from the Whispers, I, I don't know, I just kind of think, if the governor didn't do it, kind of shouldn't happen at all, but, uh, you know, that's my thoughts, that's my opinion, I don't know, uh, let me, let me know what you guys think, you know, should Rick lose his hand, if so, should it have happened already, or should somebody else do it? All right, um, and one of the next ones was, what the hell was that little object that flew by <clears throat> in that uh, overview of the junkyard? Was it a bird? Was it a plane? Was it a UFO? Was it Superman? I don't know. I've watched it many, many times now. Your guess is as good as mine. We all know it was green screen. So, you know, whatever it was, was edited in, was put in there for a purpose. I mean, you know, um, if it wasn't supposed to be there, I'm sure they would not have put it in there because, well, I mean, I really don't know how well green screens work. I don't know if you need to be you know, close to them, or if they're, you know, 50 feet away, or if they need to be, you know, basically right behind them, I mean, I don't know, so, I mean, it would have to be put in there for a reason, I mean, I just can't, I just can't see, you know, it being anything else, I know we had uh, a little, you know, that remember in, what was it, uh, season 6, episode 9? right before Daryl blew up, uh, uh, what was his name, uh, the biker gang, or Negan's biker gang, biker gang, Jesus, um, you know, in the background, there was a little car that showed up, and everyone was going crazy, oh my god, it's Negan, you know, Negan's watching, Negan's, you know, there, and it would come to find out, uh, Greg Nicotero basically said, yeah, that was just, you know, some woman who got through security and was gonna turn down the street, and, you know, the explosion stopped her dead in the track, so, you know, I mean, that wasn't green screened, you know, that was just real, you know, that was on the road and everything like that, so, you know, that there was an accident where whatever this thing is, it's on a green screen, must have been put there for a reason, I mean, again, I don't know, I mean, these are all just my guesses, my my thoughts, my opinions. But I don't I Your guess is as good as mine on this. I have no idea. Um Yeah, those are pretty much like the two big questions from uh from episode ten. Um You know, will Rick lose his hand and what was that strange thing that flew by? I don't know, I guess we'll have to wait and see, but, um, yeah, those are just my, my thoughts and opinions on that, you know, if you guys got any other opinions or thoughts on what it was, you know, let me know down below. Alright, now we're going to get into episode 11 spoilers, so if you don't want to know, uh, stop right here, uh, you know, thank you for watching, uh, if you like the video, you know, give me a like. If you like the channel, uh, if you like the channel, wow, I'm losing the ability to speak. Uh, if you like the channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button. That would be awesome. All right. So for those of you who are continuing to watch episode 11, uh, I'm in one of those, uh, you know, Facebook groups. Uh, I don't know, Walking Dead fan group or something like that. Um, you know, it's one of those Facebook groups. Uh, they posted, uh, I guess, a QA, and a uh, and these actually have been accurate, really extremely accurate. Um, I've already given my predictions on what I thought will happen, so, you know, I can't go back and, you know, oh, I told you this was going to happen, you know, I put my, my predictions out on Tuesday, so, you know, but let's get right into it. Spoiler it. Spoilers for Walking Dead Season 7, Episode 11, Q&A. Easy Street is back, and Eugene totally digs it. All right, what does Dwight do when he discovers Daryl is missing? 
He basically freaks out, but then when he finds the note someone slipped Daryl uh, that said, Go now, uh, it stops him dead in his tracks as if he recognizes the handwriting and knows who wrote it. Two, why does... Wow, I cannot speak anymore. Why does Dwight go back to his old house and what does he do there? Uh, Sherry has escaped and they had an agreement before that uh, they had an agreement before that if they ever got separated they would meet back at the old house uh, when he gets there Sherry is not there but she was there and left a note it basically says she could she couldn't wait for Dwight because she couldn't be sure he wouldn't take her back to the sanctuary or even kill her she also confesses to helping Daryl escape is Sherry in this episode at all? No. Uh, how is Eugene handling the sanctuary? He's doing great at the sanctuary. He's given a really nice apartment with all the amenities, including a video game system. Not too bad. Which, of course, he loves. Who wouldn't? Uh, he also seems truly respected by Negan and recognized for his abilities, which Rick never did. This makes Eugene start to feel like he belongs there. Um, do, 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 do. Does Negan put Eugene to work? And what is his job? His official title is Chief Engineer of the Sanctuary. A couple of harm girls <clears throat> have a request for Eugene. What is their request and what does he do for them? Apparently Amber can't take it anymore at the Sanctuary and being one of Negan's wives and decides she wants to end it. Uh, the two girls ask Eugene to make some pills so that she can commit suicide. At first, Eugene, Eugene doesn't want to, but finally agrees. He later backs out after he finally figures out that the pills aren't really for Amber, but for Negan. Does Dr. Carson take the fall for Daryl and Sherry's escape? How is he punished? Dwight blames Dr. Carson and completely throws him under the bus. He does it by cutting the goodbye honey ending of the letter that Sherry left, uh, left Dwight at their old house and plants it in Dr. Carson's, arf, Dr. Carson's office. Wow. As punishment, Negan beats the crap out of Dr. Carson whoa, and throws him head first into the furnace, burning him to death. Whoa, that's going to be brutal. Uh, is the scene with Eugene and the Harm Girls and the fire in this episode? What's going on there? One of the girls jokingly asks Eugene if he's one of those really smart guys who can make a bomb out of just a couple of household products, and Eugene admits that he might be. Uh, so he gives a demonstration by making a couple of small bombs using balloons, hydrogen peroxide, and some bleach. The girls are thoroughly impressed. How does the episode end? The episode ends with Negan paying Eugene a visit at his apartment. Negan then asks the question, Who are you? And before Negan can even finish the question, Eugene quickly responds, Negan. Yep, Eugene has officially drank the Kool-Aid. Now, for that, I wonder if Eugene is going to be playing the long con. You know, I mean, I can't see him really turning. I mean, after everything he's been through with Abraham and, you know, especially um, the season six finale when, you know, Abraham and uh, Eugene you know, basically reconciled and hugged each other, and then he, you know, watched Abraham get beat to death, you know, like, basically right in front of him. Um, I don't know, I can't see, uh, I don't know, I can't see Eugene, you know, going along with it. I think he's going to be playing the long con, and, you know, Oh, yes, I am Negan. Yep, absolutely. You know, 
and I'm sure you know he's either gonna make like bullets for him that they're gonna be blank so they'll malfunction or you know something um, <clears throat> but yeah that's my thoughts you know I think Eugene's going to be playing the long con and you know pretending to go along with it you know I'm sure he doesn't want to get you know killed whereas you know Daryl was like who are you and I'm like Daryl you know cuz you know Negan saw strength in Daryl and you know hey he'd make a good savior you know so I don't know that's my thoughts um, you know I think Eugene's just gonna be playing the long con and eventually um, when time comes you know the con will be over and we'll see uh, there is one last thing here um, Sherry's letter to Dwight so this is the letter that Sherry wrote to Dwight that was found in the house. D. We always said that if we got separated, I should come back here and wait for you. You'd show up with beer and pretzels. You remember that? I know. Uh, you probably don't. You always said that we'd start... Uh, you, oh, wow. You always said that when we started dating, you forgot to tell me you had a shitty memory. You used to get so frustrated by it. Wow, Jesus. I can't speak at all. You used to get so frustrated by it. Knowing you wouldn't remember those good days. Those special days. I felt bad for you. I remember there was so much you wanted to hold on to, but then it'd be gone. But you're lucky you don't remember things. D, I wish I could wait for you. Wait for you now, but I don't know if you'd come with me, or take me back, or kill me. You didn't want to live in that world, and I made you. In that world, yeah. Making sure the handwriting, the writing on this is uh, a little right. Um, yeah, you didn't want to live in that world, and I made you. Uh, I did what I did because I didn't want you to die. But now you've killed and become everything you didn't want to, and it's all my fault. You were better than me. Most people are. I let Daryl go because he reminded me of you and who you used to be. And I wanted to let you forget. I don't think I'm going to make it out here, but you're wrong. Being there isn't better than being dead, it's worse. I hope you realize that. I hope you get away. I hope you remember the good old days. Even just one of them. But I don't think you will. I don't think you'll ever read this. I loved who you were. I'm sorry I made you into who you are. Goodbye, honey. Or, goodbye, honey. So, that is the letter that Dwight gets at the house. He rips that goodbye, honey, off. Sticks it in Dr. Carson's uh, office, and I guess the the D is going to be uh, interpreted as doctor. Little code there. So, um, yeah, I mean, I think I think right there, reading that letter, that is going to be Dwight's uh, breaking point. I think that is officially going to uh, make Dwight snap, realize what happened, you know, start to uh, basically regret himself, you know, because I mean that is a really, really rough, rough letter to read. I mean, you know, I used to love who you were, uh, you know. I'm sorry I made you this way. You've become everything that you didn't want to be. Yeah, I mean, that's... That's rough. That's... But yeah, I think... Uh, I think this is going to be uh, the part that... I don't know, whatever you want to say, breaks the camel's back, I guess. You know, and this is where Dwight, I think, starts to... Uh, you know, regret everything and you know, start to, uh, 
I guess maybe go back to the way he was before. You know, maybe that's why he, uh, I don't know, maybe tries to make it up to Daryl or, you know, you know, you've, you were everything that I used to be. I don't know. But, um, yeah, that is, uh, episode 11. That is the note that Sherry left to Dwight. That gets planted by, uh, Dwight to Dr. Carson. But, yeah, I think this is going to be where Dwight has a, uh, a complete 180 starts to, uh, you know, change direction and whatnot. But, um, yeah. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to drop it a like. That would be awesome. Of course, my dog had to bark at that time. Uh, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, drop it a like. Uh, if you like the channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button. That would be awesome. Uh, getting so close to 50 subs, you know, I'd hope to really want to hit that 50 mark soon. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think down below in the comments section. Do you think Rick will lose his hand? What was that little object thing, you know, flying in the in the background, background overlooking the junkyard? Let me know what you think of episode 11. Do you think this is what's going to uh, turn Dwight? Uh, you know, make him change his ways and, you know, regret everything that he's done, you know, now that his wife is gone and, you know, let me know. Uh, but other than that, um, you know, more videos on the way. So um, stick around and I will see you guys next time. See ya.